Hey there, welcome back. This is part 14 of my WebDriver IO tutorial series. To check out my previous videos in this series, make sure to click on the card above or click on the link in the description below. So in our previous video, we noticed we weren't able to run our test parallel with Firefox. So we were getting this error, which was session already created and failed to create a session. So in this video, we'll take a look at how we can fix this. But first, let's do a quick overview of why parallel testing is important. So when you're dealing with multiple files, running each file one by one will take quite a lot of time. And on top of that, to be able to run it on different browsers will double or triple your time effort if you're running your test sequentially. So to avoid this, we can run a test in parallel so that a test can run quickly. You can do that by setting the number of instances you want to run, meaning number of browser sessions you want to create at one time. And the reason we should set number of instances is because you don't want to be running unlimited number of sessions at each time. As a new browser opens up, it adds load to your system. So if your machine cannot handle running multiple browsers, then your test will start failing. For example, the machine I'm using right now is not powerful enough to be running more than two browser sessions. So running more than a couple of browsers ends up causing my test to fail or the browser to hang up. So you need to be careful of these things when you will run your test in server and decide how many instances you would like to run based on the server specs. With that out of the way, let's take a look at how we can fix that Firefox issue to run it on multiple instances. So if you notice, we were using Gecko driver to run our test and then I was also providing the binary path of where the Firefox was stored. But wouldn't it be good if we didn't have to provide any of this and instead just run a test the way we were running before? So well, that's possible and we can use Selenium standalone service to do that. So let me head over to Chrome. Okay, so I'm here in the Selenium standalone service documentation. And if you can access this by just going over to docs and under the services section, just click over here. Okay, so what this does is basically it uses Selenium standalone NPM package. So let me open that up. So this provides us with multiple drivers. So if I scroll down, so it has supported web drivers, which is Chrome driver, Firefox, IE and Edge. What that means is now we don't have to install all those separate drivers. Instead, all we have to do is just install this dependency and then just start running our test. And that's all the configuration we have to do. So let's head over to our test and try to implement this. So before we do that, let me just quickly copy this command over here as we're going to be installing our package and then I'm going to head over to VS Code. Okay, so we have our Gecko driver running here. We don't need this anymore. So I'm just going to stop that by pressing Ctrl C and then I'm going to paste our command here and hit enter. So we're just installing our stand Selenium standalone service. So our package is installed now. If I scroll up. Yep, so these are successfully installed. Now what we have to do is in our configuration file, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find the service section. So over here, services. So these are our test runner services. Right now we only have Chrome driver as that's the one we were running and Gecko driver we were running separately. So we're gonna remove Chrome driver as we don't need this anymore as we read over there. And I'm gonna instead replace this with Selenium standalone. So this is the service we just installed. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, first make sure I have my search test here. I can see the JS. I'm just going to run one test for now. And then let's run a test and see what happens. Let me open this up. And if you notice, it's saying running in Firefox and running in Chrome. Okay, so my Firefox session opened up here and I have my Chrome session opened up here. And this is without me running Gecko driver. And at the same time, we also are not running our Chrome driver also. So let's wait for our test to finish. Okay, there you go. So both our tests ran and they successfully passed. And if I scroll down, I can see Chrome running here as well I can see Firefox running here. So that's it. That's all we had to do to be able to run our Firefox and Chrome just using the standalone uh, server. So we only ran single instance, but now let's try to run multiple instances for both Chrome and Firefox. So I'm going to change search.js to run all the tests and then do run a test again. Okay, if you notice now it's running Chrome, Firefox and three Firefox session and three Chrome session. And this time it's not throwing us that error failed to create session. And if you notice, I have my one Chrome instance, second, third Chrome instance actually closed. And then I have three Firefox instances here. 
Okay, so all our tests ran in different browsers and in different instances and they all passed. So if I scroll up, let's take a look. So running in Chrome, Firefox, all that here, and then we see three Chrome tests ran, all three of them passed, three Firefox ran, and all three of them passed. And we can see the details over here. For our Chrome, and these are the Firefox one. Okay, great. So that's how easy it was to just set this up and be able to run it in Chrome and Firefox. We can do the same thing if you wanna run it in IE or Edge too. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. So we can do cross-browser testing and parallel testing using standalone Selenium server. And we can run test on Chrome, Firefox, IE or Edge. And you saw how easy it was to configure this also. So in our next video, we will dive into reporting and learn how to generate beautiful reports with a layer test report. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. That's it for this video folks, I will see you in the next one.